Travel has evolved over the decades. As we move towards supersonic flight, there are challenges that we need to address. Air travel is very environmentally expensive. If we're not conscious of environmental impact, then we will fail as a business. The only way that it's going to be sustainable is if we can improve the efficiency or minimise the footprint. If we can understand turbulence and turbulent boundary layers, it just naturally has meaning to so many applications. Because the world is so big, people really want to move from one place to another very quickly. You can achieve one particular goal, but it has to be done without creating harm. I see a future where we have environmentally sustainable travel. It's about extending the connectedness of our world, making something that works for everyone in society. I don't see this as speculation. We're already on that journey. We have this plan to move the School of Engineering to a new site in Fisherman's Bend. I think we've really got this blank canvas and we can be audacious with the scale of the facilities. Research, education, government and industry. That will give us opportunity to work on these problems together. Once you get people with diverse views and different perspectives together, you don't know what's going to come from that. Collaboration is that element of innovation where you truly believe that not all innovation comes from within. And once you believe that, things like Fisherman's Bend become very critical. <laughs>